Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to do a quick introduction. This is going to be a grocery haul. Um, no, I'm not dressed. No, my makeup's not done. No, my hair's not done, but we family, so it don't matter. Let's get into it. So I planned out all my meals for this week. So these groceries are strategic. We're back to meal planning, you guys. Yes. So um, I'll show you guys in another video exactly what I'm making with all these with all this stuff and how I chose meals. But um, we got some Hawaiian sweet rolls. We also have some hamburger buns and we have some flour tortillas. Um, I got some taco seasoning. I got I have two meals this week that are going to use taco seasoning. So I got like one normal and one low sodium for each of those meals. Also got some sugar free or unsweetened applesauce. Some garlic powder. And there is a lot of cheese in this haul. <laughs> so be prepared. So we have some sharp cheddar. We also have some mild cheddar and some provolone. We have some taco shells. Clearly we're making tacos with the taco shells and the tortillas. We have some rice cakes. So recently my oldest son has been really into rice cakes with um, peanut butter. So I got him some more of those. I got some elbow macaroni because my husband is having um, seafood salad for his lunch this week. So I'm going to make that probably tomorrow. Have some crackers to go with his seafood salad. And also got some of these cheese crackers. These are the best crackers in my opinion that the extra toasty ones taste just way better than the normal in my I don't know what it is but they just have more flavor um I got some brown sugar so this is for one of the meals I'm making this week the firecracker chicken it called for uh brown sugar and I didn't want to use my coconut sugar on it so I just decided to go ahead and pick some up also got some more peanut butter but I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's tomorrow so I'll probably pick up some without any sugar in it as well um, but I think I have some in there, so I might not need to this week. Also have some cake mix. I just like to keep this in the house, just in case I have a craving for like a cake or something. It makes it really easy. So I'm probably not necessarily going to use this this week, but I just like to have it on hand. I got some quick oats. No explanation needed. Got some grits. Great for breakfast. I got some Obey. Y'all know I'm a Marylander. <laughs> and I can't make seafood salad without Obey so I ran out the last time I made it grab some more I got some hot sauce this is like basically a dupe for the Frank's Red Hot and this is also for the firecracker chicken I'm making I got some mayo because I'm almost out I try to get the low fat or reduced fat mayo and I like the one with the olive oil over the one that has like no olive oil <laughs> So this one has 60 calories as opposed to um, 100 calories per tablespoon in the standard mayo. Got some tuna and all this stuff is again for seafood salad. I got some more mustard. We were running, running low on that. I got some whole grain bread or whole wheat bread. Some plain bagels. I prefer the Trader Joe's version of these. But... I forgot I was going to Trader Joe's tomorrow. I forgot we were going to be near one. And I definitely could have got them there. But oh well. I already picked them up. So. Um, and I actually did an Instacart order for this. So. Yeah. I got some ground turkey. 85.15. So 15% fat. 85% meat. And these are for the turkey tacos that I'm making. I got some center cut pork chops. And I'm making some sweet chili i think is what they're called pork chops sweet chili pork um this is a new recipe i i actually went on to the hello fresh website and because i have an account and i've already done an order with them i just keep my account active and i can go in there and um see what the meals are and decide if i want to get the meals for that week or not so what i've been doing is just going in there looking at the meals checking out the recipe for the meal and then i can just buy the ingredients and make it myself at home and i don't necessarily have to buy it from them unless i just want to and then i got some 80 20 ground beef with this i'm making so i guess i'm just telling y'all now what i'm getting as opposed to me showing you <laughs> in another video but um yeah so roll the footage girl so you can show them <laughs> But yeah, I got some 80-20 ground beef. This is for some burgers that I that looked really good on HelloFresh. So hopefully you guys are seeing those right now. Their stuff was with mozzarella cheese. And then they have a 
sauce that goes on them that's made out of mayo, sour cream, and pesto. And you just season it with some salt and pepper. It looked delicious. Couldn't pass that one up. Got some chicken thighs, and these are for the firecracker chicken thighs. Um, y'all know, y'all saw my last video that my husband really likes these. The strawberry is actually his favorite flavor. So I got a couple of those. I got three of the strawberry, and I also got three of the key lime. These are basically Sprite, but you already know that if you saw my uh, healthier dessert, or not dessert, but drink video, healthier drinks video. Got some mozzarella cheese. Um, and these are good, you guys, these bagels, you can have them for breakfast, but you can also just make pizza bagels in the air fryer. So you can take some marinara sauce, some mozzarella cheese, some um, whatever toppings you want, pepperoni my kids just like cheese pizza so I usually just put cheese on it and they're good to go quick and easy lunch you can pair it with the fruit or veggie I got the southwest chopped salad this one has become my favorite now over the Asian so I got that and then I wanted to try the avocado one one more time because the first time I was like eh it's just so so but this I just really want to give it one more go and see if I like it so it's the bacon avocado ranch chopped salad I got some cilantro because, of course, we're going to do burrito bowls this week. <laughs> we haven't done them in probably two or three weeks, so it's, we're due. Y'all know that's like one of my go-to meals. Got some marinara sauce. I got some diced tomatoes and green chilies. And with this, I'm making... Come on and focus. Let me... With this, I'm making a chili mac... Not chili mac. A taco mac. Is that what it's called? I put it up on the screen so y'all can see exactly what it is. And I'm going to link all these recipes down below too in case you guys want to cook along with me this week. But yeah. For taco mac. And then I got some pinto beans for that as well. I figured why not add a little bit of extra protein and bulk it up a little bit so it's not just pasta and meat. And I got some sour cream. I have some in the fridge but I didn't have enough for both the burgers. The sauce for the burgers and the burrito bowls. So I decided to go ahead and grab, grab some more sour cream I got some oh shoot these were supposed to be chicken breast gosh darn it okay this was supposed to be chicken breast I got some chicken thighs <laughs> instead um I probably will just call um instacart and let them know and they will probably refund it I got some mandarin oranges this is a staple in my house got two packs and this is a new thing that I've been getting, but if you guys are interested in finding some lower sugar alternatives to, you know, your, whoa, oh my goodness, to your jellies and your jams, this one is perfect for that. It's the strawberry fruit spread, 75% fruit. It has 35 calories as opposed to 50. It has sugar as the, I'm sorry, strawberries as the first ingredient as opposed to sugar with like a Welch's or whatever other brand Smucker's jam and I just appreciate that and then if you look at the total sugars it has eight grams of total sugar and seven grams of added sugar if you compare that to the your you know standard brands of jellies or jams you're looking at like 11 or 12 grams of added sugar so you are saving yourself a lot of sugar <laughs> with that that little adjustment and it tastes just as good so you're not missing anything we have some chicken nuggets we have some mandarin oranges these are staple I got some salt because my oldest son lives in the basement. His room is in the basement. And even when we move, his room will be in the basement. <laughs> but hopefully he won't have a problem with slugs when we move. So he's been getting slugs down there. Um, and sna not snails. Slugs are the ones without a shell. So he's been getting slugs and he wanted some salt to try to combat that. Got some milk. We all had a bowl of cereal and that's why it's mostly gone. <laughs> because it's in real time it's like one something in the afternoon almost two o'clock and we were all starving got some broccoli florets so two bags of these just for a quick vegetable throughout the week i got some roma tomatoes and i just tell them when i, I put in the notes to please make sure that they're firm i cannot stand a soggy tomato it ain't for me once they get like that i can't even do it i can't do it and I'm the same way with, with bananas. Once they get to a certain ripeness, I can't eat them. Um, I got some seasoned fries. I wanted to get some yellow potatoes, but they didn't have any, so I got those instead. And I got some shrimp, also for the seafood salad. So I'm just going to do tuna and shrimp. 
make my way around the table. So I got two cereals just because I knew we were going to be starving by the time the groceries got here. I haven't really been buying cereal lately, but today I did just because I didn't want to have to, everybody to have to wait for me to cook something. So oats and I mean, not oats, <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios basically. And then we got some um, Raisin Bran, the crunchy time with the granola. Also got some oatmeal cream pies for my husband's lunch and some uncured ham if y'all are looking for a good um lunch meat brand i really do like this kind this brand is just better quality than you know like the aldi brand lunch meat you, it's noticeably different in my opinion the quality of it i got some cucumbers i either like to get i either like to get the mini cucumbers or the like long english cucumbers or seedless cucumbers Got some green onion. This can go on top of the pasta that I'm going to be making this week. This can go pretty much on top of anything. I love green onion. It's so good. Um, I love to get my kids these, um, well, they love it too, but these applesauce squeezy pouches are so good. And they have no sugar, no added sugar. So whatever sweetness comes from the fruit naturally is what you get. You don't have to worry about them adding anything extra to it. And as I say that, I'm realizing that that is not true. So I guess that the strawberry puree maybe has a little bit of sweetness in or sugar in it i don't know but they don't actually say what's in it um but yeah two grams of added sugar versus um i don't know how much if you get the sweetened applesauce i never buy the sweetened applesauce that comes in those little cups or even in the big jar because i just don't i just don't feel like that's necessary to add a bunch of extra sugar to applesauce because apples are naturally sweet i got the peach as well they like all the flavors. They have peach, strawberry, they have mixed fruit, which I think has um, strawberries, apples, and bananas. And they also have the cinnamon. So they like all the flavors. But I just got these two. These are their favorites. And then as opposed to buying the cinnamon applesauce pouches, I just got normal unsweetened applesauce. And then I'll add some cinnamon to it. And that way they can have the cinnamon applesauce as well. And you can see this one has absolutely no added sugar. And now that I know the other one has added sugar, I might... I don't know I might not stop buying it because it's just way more convenient for them to grab this and not make a mess but we'll see so I got some salsa this one is for basically it's pico de gallo it's fresh salsa and it's, this is for the burrito bowls I got some parmesan cheese I just like to keep this on hand it goes in so many different things I can put this inside of those burgers too and then I really like to get this whole milk vanilla yogurt the organic one from um, Aldi and y'all have seen me use this as a frosting on the uh, oats the baked oats so yeah I really like this one and I oh, a couple more things so I got three dozen eggs because we are completely out and then I also got some strawberries and bananas so what I'm going to do with these strawberries is eat it with the yogurt and add a little bit of granola to it so basically make some parfaits out of these so yogurt granola and strawberries for a parfait and then I just got some uh or Okay, these were supposed to be organic bananas. They are not. So, I'm going to have to tell them that too because they charged me for organic bananas. And then she raised the amount of them too. So, they charged me doubly <laughs> for this. So, yeah, I just specified I wanted green bananas because I don't like ripe bananas. I can't do it unless I'm cooking with them. So that is it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me in my bathrobe. <laughs> I plan on doing absolutely nothing today, but we are going to the movies tomorrow to see Paw Patrol at the Alamo Draft House in Loudoun County, Virginia. And they are um, having a cereal party. So we're gonna be like hanging out there having all you can eat cereal and it should be a good time. So today we're chilling and yeah. But that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.